Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Gaurav Agrawal. I am working as a pediatric cardiologist in BLK Super Specialty Hospital and as well as Cell Diagnostic Pitampura. Today, I will discuss one very interesting fetal liquid scan that I did in November this year, last year. First, I will describe a normal fetal scan. What is normal fetal scan? Normally, there is a uh, there are four chambers. This is the left atrium. This is the left ventricle right ventricle and here somewhere is the right atrium. There is an outflow from the left ventricle, this is aorta. And from the right ventricle, another vessel that comes out is the pulmonary artery. And the same color flow, as you can see, the uh, left at atrium is going into the left ventricle with the red flow and the outflow is in the blue because the flow is away from the flow. Same, this is the pulmonary artery. So aorta and pulmonary artery, both are crossing. One is going like this, another is going like this. I saw one patient that was 39 years approximately with 27 weeks of gestation. Patient was primary due to IVF, uh, a pregnancy was of IVF conception. Previously, fetal echo was done two times at different centers in somewhere in the East Delhi. And uh, the patient was reported and one report was as is absent aorta, severe coarctation of aorta. Another report was hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Uh, hypoplastic left heart syndrome is the extreme of left-sided obstructed lesions. Uh, she came for the opinion, what should we do? As you can see in this slide, the two reports are of different type. The management is different for different, uh, both of these groups. And there was no history of diabetes or miscarriage. And the repeat scan was done. As you can see in this echo clip, this is the uh, left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle, was, uh, right atrium is uh, in somewhere here. As you can see, there is a big hole here. This was a VST. Normally, the septum is clearly trans uh, uh, somewhere here, but there is a big gap here. As you can see, something is coming out from this uh, above the VSD, but it is not very clear. Uh, it is the pulmonary artery here. And in the same patient, in the different plane, uh, left atrium, left ventricle, this is the VSD. As you can see in the simultaneous color flow, uh, this is the pulmonary artery. As you can see here, this is a very clear demonstration of the pulmonary artery here. This is coming out from above the septum, uh, committed, committed to left ventricle and right ventricle both. And there is another vessel that comes out from the right ventricle. This is the aorta. So there is no crisscross connection as we saw in previous slide. The pulmonary artery is going like this. Aorta is going like this. There is no crossing in the same color flow. You can see here, this is the pulmonary artery, this is the aorta. There is no crossing. This is, was a case of transposition of great vessels. This is a uh, common cyanotic heart disease. And this also, there is a pulmonary artery is small in size. Normally, the pulmonary artery is bigger in size as compared to the aorta. But you can see here, the aorta is bigger as compared to the pulmonary artery. This is a case of transposition of great vessels. We have to assess the aorta also whether it is uh, having some coarctation or not. But as you can see here, there is a clear cut. There is no coarctation. Here the aorta is of similar size around uh, you know, whole the length. So diagnosis was transposition of great vessels with large BSD with a small pulmonary artery. That can be converted into the pulmonary stenosis after birth or during the course of pregnancy. The PFO was of good size. It was of around 3 mm in size. PFO is commonly known as ASD after delivery. The treatment of is different for this problem uh, and the, the treatment is different for this problem, these two problems. But it, as I clearly diagnosed the transposition is there, then uh, the treatment is only surgery after birth. But during the course of pregnancy, we have to assess for whether the ASD is decreasing in size or not. Because sometimes it has been seen that ASD is decreased during the course of pregnancy, then immediately we have to intervene after birth in this type of subset. But ASD is of adequate size and pulmonary artery is of adequate size, we can operate the child around two months of age because the patient was having large VSD. But if the VSD is not there, ASD is also small, then sometimes we have to do ballooning to open the atrial septum. And immediately after a few days, uh, three to four days later, then we have to go for the immediate surgery within two to three weeks of age. But the patient was having a small pulmonary artery that can be converted into the severe pulmonary stenosis. In that case, sometimes we have to do a palliative surgery known as the BT shunt in which we put an artificial shunt from aorta to pulmonary artery. 
followed by final surgery after a few months. So uh, we have to define the fetal heart in proper way so that we can make the planning of delivery, time of delivery, where we have to deliver the child like 